In this video, we're gonna be talking about a concept that I don't think really anyone has a great solution in terms of how to stop it. And it comes to us out of the tight offset tight end in the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. If you wanna get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. It's gonna get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. We're dropping brand new material this week in it. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. The play we're taking a look at today is P.A. Shot Seams out of tight offset tight end. One of my favorite plays, one of the most versatile and dominant passing plays in Madden 23 because of all of the things that you can do with it. And uh, in this one, we're going to show you what I think I call this the cornerstone concept of Madden, one of the best man beaters every single year. Um, here's what it is. What we're going to do with this is we are going to post our slot receiver. We're going to slant our tight end and then we are going to snap the ball. Now, what we have in this is we have a couple things. Well, we are going to motion this guy out. I apologize. We're going to motion this guy uh, to the outside of the field. Typically, what I like to do is run this with my tight end on the short side of the field um, because it is going to make the clear out a little bit cleaner for that outside receiver. So, what you're going to see here is a couple things. First and foremost, if they're playing backed off coverage, which a lot of people are playing right now, throw that out route to Julian Edelman. Make them have to press you, and I'm going to show you what they do, what to do if they press you. But if they are playing backed off coverage and it turns out that it is man coverage, this is what I call an access throw. If you feel like you have access and leverage to throw with a free form down and outside, throw it every single time and take your free five to seven yards. Really important because now what they're gonna they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to press him. So when they start to have to press him, there's are several other things that are going to happen on the defensive side of the ball. One of those things that they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to now respect the fact that we don't have to run him on that out route. If you see that press, you have a couple options. You can put him on a corner route if you want to run a corner route, or just put him on a streak. And when you put him on a streak, what you're gonna find is um, you could you could flip flop who's on the post and who's on the slant if you wanted to do that. But the main thing is this now gives us freedom to potentially bomb them if they don't have safety help over top. So his that, that we're gonna play kind of a, a chess match, if you will, on on that left side. So I'll show you that again here. Again, as long as we don't get screamed at by practice mode sheds, uh, we should be fine. So again, you'll just see here, if he's one on one and they press him, Oftentimes, that's a touchdown over the top. Oftentimes, if you can complete it. He's wide open. You just got to free form it and not high ball it. I, I, out of habit, I still free form and high ball a lot of stuff. I feel like with shorter receivers, you don't want to do that as much. That's just my take on the game. But anyway, you see here, free form, hot, free form straight up. And you see, even though he has a KO ability, oftentimes isn't going to KO him because he's going to have just enough separation uh, to be able to do that. So what do you do if they play press and then they don't actually press? If they start to do that a lot, what I like to do is then just, okay, well, he's going to still run that out route because if they don't press him, that out route's going to be open every single time. Or that's where we can get into uh, our corner route or whatever else we want to we want to do. You can kind of play games with that, that player is all I'm trying to get at here now the beauty of his route is the slant route is going to run uh, over the top of this so what you're going to get here is this out route's going to pull all the flat zones out and then you can throw your slant in behind it just like that as you can see so this that slant really does give us uh some some capability some opportunity there uh in terms of how we want to run this concept so the beauty of this is that against any zone anything it makes it so that this the slant is a lot more open um and then the other thing that we have here is this route to our tie or our slot receiver this post route it's one of the best man beating routes in the game it's been one of the best man beating routes in the game it's going to continue to be one of the best man beating routes in the game it's the best man man beating route in the game every single year in my opinion is this sharp cutting post that you can get out of slot apprentice one of the most important routes every single year now let's talk about this uh route to michael irvin uh if you take a look here there are certain streaks in the game that are really good when they don't have safety help this is one of those streaks what you see here is against like just a basic you know cover one or cover zero 
when he cuts up field, he just literally destroys the, the man coverage. Like, literally just destroys him. So, I'm actually going to up in this. We're not going to motion him outside because of that. He destroys him. Um, as you can see, you can motion him out if you want to, but you don't have to. Now, the beauty of this is let's say that they press you. So, if they press you on this, on this uh, coverage, then what you should do, let me set up the play here, is if you watch this player, you can highball this and back shoulder it. Um, so all I'm doing there is I just highball it as soon as he cuts up field. Just highball it as soon as he cuts up field. A lot of times that's going to be open for you. If it's not there um, or if you don't feel comfortable throwing that, if you wait on this, a lot of times he will literally still just run by the defender. As you can see right there, if I freeform and highball, you do want to freeform and highball this one because it's a little bit of a glitchy streak. There's just certain routes in the game, this route uh, being one of them, that are very difficult to... Um, to defend in cover zero or even cover one because when they get outside you see there he just gets a step on him and i got to get better at free farming but you see he's wide open so oftentimes that's something that you can do and what it forces your from your opponent defensively this is the key is it forces them to have to put both safeties over the top of the defenders if they're going to play you in press man they have to have safety help otherwise it's going to be a touchdown so now there's not really help for the slant or for the post, and so it isolates the user really, really, really well against man coverage. Now, what about zone coverage? A couple things against zone. Uh, first and foremost, your first read is always going to be this quick throw to Julian Edelman. If you see he has leverage, throw it. If they are playing hard flats, then what you want to do is you want to ag that slant. As you saw right there, I ag the slant in front of that deep outside quarter. So if they're going to play you in zone and they're going to play hard flats, you have to be prepared. Like if they do have a yellow over here, it can make this a little bit muddy. Now, if this guy is not in a yellow, let's say, for example, um, just trying to – let's say he goes with the post or whatever right if he's not in a yellow zone which is actually rare that he actually is in a yellow zone this year um if he's not in a yellow zone then what you want to do is you want to throw your slant a little bit sooner than that so you see here he goes out there's no one in that little pocket we throw that every single time so now what they have to do is they have to carry um they have to carry the slant and then what that does or they have to have a yellow and what that does is now it leaves vulnerabilities over the middle where Michael Irvin just cleared out all the zones. You see that post running right underneath it over there on the right side of the screen. So you have the post if they guard the slant. You have the slant if they guard the post. Generally speaking, that is true. Um, if they are consistently hard flatting, one of the things I would recommend is go ahead and put him on the streak. He's not as valuable. If they're hard, if they're hard flatting, that out route's not as valuable. So feel free to put him on a streak because that will clear out the space a little bit better um, for this. So you'll see here, here's zone again. And you see, I don't know why I'm getting screamed at, but you see he's wide open. The post is wide open over there on the right side. I don't know why Ronnie Lott randomly blitzed either because um, we could have thrown the touchdown over the top. But anywho, it is what it is. So this right here, one of my favorite plays. And the beauty of this post is you can throw it over there. And I think that right there is why this is such a good play because you can throw that post at multiple different windows um, within how they're defending you. Now, if, if they are truly running like a hard flat head baseline press cover four, one thing you might consider is just flip-flopping who's on what. So instead of having it, like do it like this. And the reason why you might want to do that is because now that is going to be there for you late in the play, as you can see. And then your post is still a problem over there on the backside. So don't be afraid to flip-flop who's on the slant, who's on the post. Um, but this right here, super effective play out of PA shot seams. If you guys want to learn my entire tight offset tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks and updates to those ebooks, which we're dropping brand new stuff this week. So make sure you're in the Patreon. Thanks for watching, and head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.